Another Easter egg. <gasps> Nick has been so generous. Let's see how we get on right here on Gary's Stuff. Hi there, I'm Gary, welcome to my channel and welcome back. If you've been here before, now today is the second of my Easter specials, building the egg planes. Egg, this is the egg FA-18 from Hasegawa. No scale, because it's not scaled. Um, this was sent to me by Nick as my Easter mystery box, so thank you very much, Nick. These are so simple to go together, but I'll show you how they're done anyway, just in case there's something you, you know, miss out on or don't know where they go. If you enjoy the show, please do remember, imperial thumbs up on the like button below. And if you haven't done so yet, please do subscribe to the channel and hit that bell, and you'll be notified of all my future videos as they turn up. Let's get moving then. Have a look at how I built this Eggplane FA-18 from Hasegawa. The first thing to do is join the two fuselage halves together. As you can see, this very nearly makes the whole kit just by doing this. The vertical stabilizers or fins um, have these little pegs to hold them in place. Now they're in different spacings. The one this side is wider than this side, so it tells you which way round the fins have to go, which is quite handy and they just slot in like so and we can glue those in place. There's a pilot figure as such or some representation of a pilot figure which to be honest a lot of companies could do with copying. Anyway, um, completely anonymous face mask and helmet and all the rest of it. It just goes together as two halves and then when they're done then plug into the cockpit. The engine inlets go into little places so that they kind of slot in at the top and then clip into place at the bottom. So this whole slot here there's like a square peg that sort of slots into and under that and then there's a round peg at the bottom that clips into the bottom of the part like that. Then at the back of the body are the engine exhausts. And that's essentially the bodywork done apart from the canopies. So we're now in a stage where I can send this to do a little bit of um, tidying up of a couple of seams here and there, and then um, go to paint, go, well certainly go to primer, um, paint the insides here, put the canopy on, mask it, and then uh, prime just that, and then start on the body. Right, so what I've done is I've painted the pilot um, with that olive greenish sort of stuff, painted the face mask, Austrian mask, um, visor, uh, helmet, put some fancy red colours on the helmet. Now I can put the canopy into place, kind of clips in, like this, it clips in on either side. And you'll see this green stuff is masking tape, so um, that defines the edge of where I'm going to spray. I'll fill in these clear bits here with masking fluid of course you can just tape it all up and then when that's all done I'll be able to spray the, air, the rest of the aircraft with primer and start the paint job right so I've done the painting um, on the bottom got light ghost grey and dark ghost grey don't imagine you can really tell that much of a difference there's a defining one there a little bit of uh, sort of a, a pale brown for the radome there. The inlets and exhaust have been painted black. The outside of the exhaust have had a bit of uh, metal colour, uh, like gun metal or something like that. And the tops of the missiles have been painted black. I might just put a little bit of that gun metal on the tops of the missiles just to look like the uh, infrared windows. Also a bit black on the tail of the missiles as well. So then given it a coat of varnish and then it's ready for the decals. And 
The undercarriage can do this, it's just made by sticking the wheels onto the undercarriage legs and then into the recesses on the bottom of the fuselage. And the raster hook goes in here at the back and it sits between the two engines. And we can take the canopy masks off. So there it is, my little egg FA-18 Hornet. Um, it was just pure joy to build. You know, it all went together well, but there's not many pieces to go together, but the pieces I had went together well. Easy to paint, quite a lot of decals, but they kind of look cute. Um, yeah, all round, just a, a, a lovely little thing to build. Thank you so much, for Nick, for sending it over. Really enjoyed this one. There it is then, the Eggplane FA-18. Like the P-47, just such a lot of fun to build. You know, it's just, let the stress go, let the worrying about panel lines and does this, do, and is that accurate? And that, forget all that. Build something for fun. Build something like this for fun. Build whatever you like for fun, as long as it's simple, straightforward, and you're gonna feel better at the end of it than you did when you started. That's a job done. Now, if you've enjoyed today's show, please do remember, Imperial thumbs up on the like button below. If you'd be so kind, every like counts. And of course, if you haven't done so yet, please do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you'll be notified of all my future videos as they turn up. In any case, thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon, I hope. Take very good care, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.